Hello, my name is Kai, and today we're going to load the Lomography Diana Mini. Step one is to take a blank exposure. Let's trip the shutter. Next, we're going to open the camera back. Open the lock on the bottom of the camera. Slide the back off. Open the pressure plate. Take your 35 millimeter roll of film and drop it in the left here. And before we do anything else, we need to decide if we're going to start shooting the square 24 by 24 millimeter frame or the um, half frame, which is a 24 by 17. See, when you slide the switch to the left, it, two little wings close in, and that gives you a half frame. I like shooting square. Um, the square format, so I'm going to put the switch to the right, and that's what we're going to shoot. Now, according to the manual, you can switch mid roll, but um, I think if you take your film to, if you're switching back and forth to the formats, I, I think you're going to give your um, film processor a headache because uh, their automatic equipment will have a hard time determining whether they're um, looking at single half frames or um, uh, full frames. Anyway, pull the leader across the film here, the film gate, and engage it in the sprockets on the bottom of the take-up spool. I'm holding my finger down here and winding the, turning the winder knob counterclockwise. It's now it's engaged there, and I'm going to wind until the full width of the film, the leader's wound around the thing, and the full width of the film is lined up with this yellow mark on the right here. Next, you want to make sure that the teeth in the sprocket and the, just under the viewfinder window is engaged in the sprocket holes. Close the film gate. Put the camera back on. Now if you get a little stuck here, sliding the back on, just jiggle the rewind crank a little bit. There are two prongs on the um, rewind crank that go into the spindle. And if they're not just right, it can kind of cause the back to hang up a little bit. So lock the camera. Next, we're going to just gently turn the winder knob until it stops. And it doesn't take very long. There we go. We're on exposure one. The camera's ready to take a picture. Now, the operation of this camera is very simple. Um, I like using the mnemonic safe when you're shooting. And what um, that is, is safe. Check your sh shutter setting. If you're outdoors and not doing a time exposure, it, it should be on N, which is about a hundredth of a second. A, for aperture, we have two apertures here. You can choose sunny or cloudy. And depending on um, the lighting conditions, you choose one of those. Next, F is for focus. Um, decide how far you are from your subject and then set the zone accordingly. Next, E is for expose. So just aim your, look through your viewfinder, aim the camera, trip the shutter. And then advance the film, gently turn it. It'll take probably just about three gentle turns and then it's locked again and you're ready for the next exposure. And that's how you load the Lomography Dynamini.